Does, for what purpose does the gentleman from Maryland seek recognition? Mr. Chairman, I claim time in opposition to the amendment. The gentleman is recognized for five minutes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, whatever priority or alternative use of these funds is being proposed, I can't imagine that it would compete with where this money is being taken away from. The $30 million that's been identified would be taken away from the Fulbright program, which is one of the most effective programs of public diplomacy the United States has ever produced, authored by William Fulbright. It has established cultural exchange for decades between the United States and countries around the world and done so much good in terms of projecting American values abroad and inviting people from other countries to come here to the United States to learn about our nation and what we stand for. I admit that I'm biased. I had the privilege and honor back in 1984 to go to Greece on a Fulbright scholarship and I saw firsthand the benefits of that program. There are 37 current and former heads of state or government and 57 Nobel laureates who are alumni of the Fulbright program. It's a signature of international exchange, the various programs of international cultural exchange that we have in this country. It's really the crown jewel of those programs. And to take any money away from the program, I think, is a very serious mistake. I would also add that investment in the Fulbright program leverages a tremendous amount of additional resources when you look at what other countries have put into the equation. The program now operates in 165 countries around the world. 49 of those countries match or exceed the funding that the United States puts into the program. So in other words, We've invited countries around the world to step up and partner with us through the Fulbright program on international exchange. They've, take that, they've taken that invitation seriously. They've put significant resources behind it, which has kept the program strong, even though funding recently here in this country has been flat. If anything, we should be increasing our investment in a program like this at a time when public diplomacy and making sure that people around the world understand who we are and what we stand for should be a number one priority. So I urge my colleagues, uh, Mr. Chairman, to reject this amendment. I think it's a mistake. There are 1,300 U.S. colleges and universities half of which are public and more than 125 of which are minority serving that now benefit from hosting Fulbright scholars here uh, in the United States. So I urge opposition uh, to the amendment. I reserve my time.